Joseph meets with Benjamin. The brothers kept to their father's advice when they entered the city. They all went into the city through different entrances. They went to the prophet Joseph's palace separately and he accepted them kindly one by one. When they were all gathered together, they introduced Benjamin to the prophet Joseph, saying, This is our youngest brother you have asked to see. The prophet Joseph looked at Benjamin with great longing. He was sitting in the corner. The prophet Joseph was desperately waiting for the evening so that he could be alone with him and talk. Joseph ordered a feast be prepared for his brothers. He made them sit two by two at the table. Benjamin cried when he was left alone and said, If my brother Joseph was alive, I would be sitting with him now. The prophet Joseph then sat next to him in order to comfort him. After the dinner, Joseph showed his brothers to their rooms where they would be staying. There would be two of them in each room. Benjamin was again left alone and the prophet Joseph asked him, will you be my guest? The prophet Joseph had finally found the opportunity to be alone with his brother. Would you like me to be your brother in the place of the one you have lost? Benjamin felt very emotional and cried, who could find a brother like you? But you are not the son of my mother Rachel and my father Jacob. The prophet Joseph couldn't bear it anymore and hugged his brother with love saying, don't worry, I am your brother Joseph, whom you thought was dead. Benjamin started shaking from his nerves. He couldn't believe what he was hearing. Was this person who was hugging him really Joseph? He felt his heart was almost going to stop from excitement. The two brothers sat and stared at each other for a long time. And after they calmed down, they started talking. The prophet Joseph didn't want his other brothers to know who he really was at that time. He reminded Benjamin about this and asked Benjamin not to tell the others that he was Joseph. The prophet Joseph was also determined not to send Benjamin back. He told his brother his intentions and said, you should know that I will find a way to keep you with me. Leave the rest to me. Don't worry about my father and get upset. Allah willing, things will turn out better and happier for us. There's a thief about. The Prophet Joseph ordered the preparations for his brother's journey to be made. In the meantime, he had his men secretly put a very precious cup into Benjamin's luggage. The group of 11 brothers eventually left on their journey. The Prophet Joseph personally saw them off. Just as the group was leaving, they were stopped by the palace guards who called, Stop! Where are you going? You have stolen something. Your luggage will be searched. They were all surprised and said, What are you talking about? What has been stolen? The guards answered, A very precious cup from which the king drinks water. A reward of food supplies will be given to the one who finds it. At that moment, the prophet Joseph arrived. The brothers, feeling very surprised, told him, you know we come from a line of prophets. You know just as well we haven't come to Egypt to steal. You can search us. The prophet Joseph then said, If we do find any of you to be thieves, what is the punishment for it where you come from? They replied, In our country, the punishment for stealing is that the thief must serve the person whom they have stolen from for one year. In this way, they told their brother the punishment the Israelites gave for stealing. This was the way he could legally keep Benjamin with him. He ordered his men to search their luggage at that instant, and the guards took down everything from the camels and started searching. They eventually found the cup in Benjamin's luggage. The brothers were shocked at this, and they didn't know what to say. They were left in a very difficult situation. They thought about what to do, and as a last resort, they blamed Benjamin. They turned to the prophet Joseph and said, if Benjamin has stolen it, we accept his guilt. His brother Joseph was also a thief before him. It's in their nature to steal. Benjamin didn't say anything while being blamed for this crime, and the prophet Joseph just smiled. He thought to himself, you are the real thieves, for you have stolen me from my father. He then said to them, the things you say are very bad, and only Allah can know if they are true or false. What the brothers were talking about was the incident with the silver belt. However, that was not really something to be guilty about, but something to be proud of. 
Benjamin remains with Joseph. The prophet Joseph told his brothers that they would keep Benjamin there for a year. They were the ones who told him themselves that it was the Israelites' punishment to do so. This news had shocked the brothers. They talked among themselves and said, what will we do now? We promised our father to take care of Benjamin and protect him. There was only one thing they could do. One of them would take Benjamin's place and remain there instead of him. They tried to convince the prophet Joseph and said, we have a very old father who loves Benjamin very much. He is our father's only consolation. We kindly ask you to take one of us instead of him. Return him to us. You are a very good person and like to make people happy. Please accept our offer. However, Joseph refused them at that instant and said, Allah forbid, that's impossible. We can only keep the one who we found the stolen item on. It would be unfair for someone else. The prophet Joseph wouldn't accept their offer no matter what they said. He let the others go free and kept Benjamin with him. Their hope of taking Benjamin back with them was over. They started talking about it and Yehuda said, We promised our father we would protect Benjamin. We even swore to protect him. And for that reason, I will not go back until I get Benjamin and so that my father forgives me. You go ahead and tell father what has happened. Yehuda remained in Egypt and the others went back. They were very upset about what had happened. They arrived home and when the prophet Jacob couldn't see Benjamin with them, he asked where he was. He has been kept in Egypt for a year for stealing. The prophet Jacob replied, no, my son is not a thief. The sons replied, you can ask the man who was with us during the journey. They saw what happened. Jacob was not satisfied with what he heard and said, you did to Benjamin what you did to Joseph. However, Allah is merciful and great. I hope that both my sons will return someday. Allah knows what happened to them. I just have to be patient.